Today we are attempting to sound and heat proof the front of our bus. Okay, so we are trying to sound and heat proof the front of the bus, the driving cabin, the cockpit area, whatever it is that you want to call it, we're trying to sound and heat proof that. And so there are a couple of different things that we are trying to keep in mind for it and that we need to address while we are attempting to do this. The first is for the heat, we need to be able to block the actual direct airflow of hot air coming off of the engine into the bus. And then we also need to be able to block the radiating heat that is coming through the metal that separates the engine and the driving area. And then for the sound, we basically need to dampen the vibrations to kind of muffle everything a little bit because right now it is very loud and it's very hot while we're driving. So we wanna make it more comfortable. All right, so this is the reason why we need this whole flooring situation to be removable and easily removable. Our bus has an access panel directly to our transmission. I don't think all buses have this, but we do, and we do need to keep it accessible. So this whole panel right here opens up, and down here we've got our giant transmission, but we also have the beginning of the exhaust for the bus. And so there is a lot of heat that comes up off of here, both from the transmission and from the exhaust so this is a huge culprit for why it is so hot for us up in the front of the bus so basically we're going to add the weather stripping in here so that this whole panel is nice and sealed and then pop everything on top to help prevent the heat that's leaching out of it this is also probably why it's so loud since we do have a major mechanical part directly underneath our feet but that is why it needs to be so easily removable in an effort to do that, we've got a few different things. One is weather stripping. This is an automotive weather stripping, and we have a few places in the bus where there are pretty substantial cracks, and so we're gonna try to block that air with the weather stripping. And then to block the heat that is radiating through the metal of the bus, we are going to use the windshield heat screens, which um, hopefully will block the heat that's coming through. And then on top of that, we are going to put some carpeting. And this is like a utility carpet or a liner for an SUV truck sort of thing. And it's basically just a really heavy duty low pile carpet. So we're gonna put that on. That should help muffle a little bit. And then on top of it, we're going to put this heavy duty vinyl liner to cover everything. And we want that so that we've got something that is waterproof, that is easy to clean, and that's not going to pick up all of Finn's hair because he sheds like a little monster and all of the sand and dirt and all of that kind of stuff that we may bring into the bus when we're in and out of it. And then we're going to fasten everything using this heavy duty industrial Velcro. And we're going to do Velcro because we do want all of this to be removable and to be easily removable. All right, so we've got our new floor totally installed and we have reinstalled the front seat. We had to take it out to put all of this in we don't have a whole lot of hope for it doing anything to muffle the sound, but we are hoping that it will block the heat. That's kind of our number one priority in all of this. So yeah, and it does look a lot nicer than the bare metal that we had before, which is great. So that's pretty much it for our whole new Frankenstein floor area up here in the front. So, you know. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff from us. And if you have any suggestions on how we can improve this situation, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. And we'll see y'all in our next one. Bye.